अरे यार ये गाना नहीं गाया तो इन शो, शो में मजा नहीं है व्हाट्स दैट वन सॉन्ग दैट एवरीबॉडी लव्स वेल there's one particular i mean i cannot say one particular there are many songs of course but i'm yes, sure there are many if i, if I, have, huh. if I have to say just one and uh, huh. when, again an asmi song it's a very uh, rhythmic one and uh, mm-hmm. but although it's an asmi song even if uh, i have you know whenever i have sung it in front of non asmi crowd as well everybody is appreciated mm-hmm. and everybody enjoys the song so that's again that's uh, from my album uh, mati the folk factor mm-hmm. Uh, this was the album which was nominated as the best uh, folk album uh, for gma awards oh wow lovely 2014 so that is my composition again uh, wow that song which is uh, called modhu uh, danabo uh, there's an uh, i think if, when i sing the song you will understand because there's one part which is also in sanskrit and okay. i have sung the asmi's part so this nice I think you must be knowing that there's a phrase where you sing Madhu Dana Vadar and Nadeva Varan Varavari Charo Chana Chakra Dharan. So that right. uh, I've sung it in our uh, this thing. It's in Bajrauli right. language, so I have sung it in that. And, Wonderful. Uh, that's one song uh, which I had. And uh, yes, I would also love to mention uh, the song. It was released in 2014, but uh, till date, whenever, wherever, whenever I perform, especially when I perform it among the Asmi's crowd. I have always performed twice or thrice in a particular show. It has never been oh, once. Oh wow, that's amazing! That's amazing. So the 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 reason I kind of cued that up is because I'm sure your fans here would also love to hear you sing a little bit of it. So could we please hear you sing that? Okay, <laughs> I knew that, but yes, I just waited for you to say that. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, मधुदान बदार न देव बर बर बारी चलु सन शक्र धरम दुम दुम दबा बाजे आहा खे मिली काउ नम धर्म दुम दुम दबा बाजे धरा हाते हाते की जाति वर्ण हुम हुम बुकु कपे so beautiful you know there's just something about i i've heard quite a few assamese folk songs uh, you know I, i lived in kolkata for four years so i've heard a lot of bengali music there's just something about you know the the language it 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 goes so beautifully with the music it's a very uh, very melodic language like right now there's no music there's no music playing behind you but it's still so melodic it's so, it's still so complete and i can see again the amount of love that you're getting from all the people who are watching you right now all of your fans so that is fantastic uh, i i have to ask you you know uh, one of the people who always gets mentioned whenever i've spoken with anybody who's had any association with uh, assamese music or who sung for assam even hindi singers who sung uh for assami uh, films and all that is of course uh, uh, zubin garg and I, i i believe on on this album itself you had him on one of your songs was it yeah. right did i get absolutely correct I I saw that video. Uh, tell me about you know he seems to be a very mysterious figure because he doesn't really seem to do a lot of conversations with people. Uh, uh, so many of his fans have also written to me saying you should get him. So right now what I do is I I'm getting pieces of uh, little pieces, little interesting bits about him from other people who worked with him. What has your experience been working with Zubin Garg? Well, uh, it has been a very long journey with him and uh, lovely. yeah and we are still working together he's a very interesting person of course as you said you know uh, he it's not that that he doesn't speak he speaks but whenever uh, he wants to that absolutely depends upon his mood he would do only what he wants to do and uh, he's been, <laughs> he's a great human being uh, actually a person with a golden heart so nice uh, a very grounded person extremely super talented and you know uh, we all say and believe that you know when a person is extraordinary uh, ordinarily tr- talented uh, he or she seems to differ from others you know they right are right they are always into their own world i mean Correct. somewhere somewhere he is uh, even when he is sitting idly he must be creating something in mind so wonderful that's how he is that's how he is and uh, yes uh, whenever whenever you meet him i'm sure you will love talking to him 
I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm genuinely looking forward to it. Um, you know, I've had the pleasure of performing once in Guwahati. Uh, I, I have a blues and rock and roll band, so we performed there once. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, right behind me. I'm gonna plug it. That's my album. It's called Mumbai Blues. So coincidentally, uh, one year after your album is when I released my album. Came out in 2014 as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll talk about my music later on. But I'm saying that I love the culture there. I love how people are into music. I love how people want to go and watch live performances and how they genuinely are fans of their favorite singers. I've seen the amount of love that you get, that Zubin gets, and you know, even Mahalakshmi Iyer who sung a few songs. and she's been a guest on my show the kind of love that she gets also from the fans in the northeast is phenomenal now you know you've got the love from the northeast and now you've got your first punjabi single out and i think the love's just going to grow from all across the country uh, the song congratulations already in 5 days the song already has over 2 million views let's talk a little bit about the song how did this song come about uh, i believe goldie sohel has a uh, uh, composed and produced it and uh, you've got two wonderful actors who are in it as well so tell us a little bit about it yeah actually uh, goldie as i uh, told you that you know i always wanted to do a punjabi song and uh, mm-hmm. so it has always been my second most favorite language since my mm-hmm. childhood so i always wanted to do it so i t- told uh, goldie that you know just uh, do create a beautiful punjabi track for me and we'll make mm-hmm. one someday soon so one day we were just jamming both of us we were just sitting idly and jamming so he started singing the hook line to kar leve roka roka tu na de mainu dhoka nahi ta chhad ke main tenu chali jaawange So he he mm. just sent me and he just asked me that that how is it? I said I think it sounds really fun, you know very interesting very cool. So let's just record the hook. So we recorded the hook and then we nice. forward to Tarsim Tarsim Mittal. So Tarsim we just told him to Tarsim just listen to it once and if you like it we'll go ahead. So then he mm-hmm. said I think this should come out really well. So yes nice. that's how we started. And then you know in the process we really had a lot of fun. That was we didn't you know seriously sit in, into a song and then that was created or something like that. That was right. the song was created just out of fun, and then everything followed with that. We had the beautiful team, uh, you know, the video team as well, the audio team working together. And yes, with everybody's, uh, you know, uh, great uh, hard work, it has come out really well, and people has appreciated it. They are still appreciating, and we are really being hopeful that everybody likes it. And as you said, yes, uh, with Roka Roka, and you know, I'm just being hopeful that you know, I uh, people. get to know me more uh, the wider audience i get i'm you know exposed to the wider audience so yes yeah. that's about it and yes we're being hopeful that's beautiful